and the things that we create together, they're not just ideas, they are a future. This is huge, guys. So we were expecting Character Creator 5 in July, but I think the wait is totally worth it because it's now coming in August. One of the biggest announcements that uh, Realogen sent out is that MetaHuman animation data is going to be seamlessly compatible with Character Creator 5 models, which means any facial animation that you create in the Unreal Engine using pre-recorded video, using error kit, using whatever source of facial performance that you have, you will be able to apply that to the Character Creator 5 models, which means you're going to get realistic lip syncing, realistic facial animation, just like the data that we've been ex uh, used to seeing in the MetaHuman animator, that's going to be compatible with character, character Creator 5 models. And you'll be able to send that data to Character Creator 5. So all the facial mock-up, if you're using like a motion capture suit, even if you're using like maybe Quick Magic AI or any source of mock-up data, you'll be able to combine that with the facial motion capture of the from MetaHuman animator to create convincing facial animation for our short films. And I love editing mock-up inside of iClone. And also you've seen how well they've improved the mock-up editing tools in the Unreal Engine 5.6 and later. This is going to be huge for creating really, really convincing performances for short films. So I hope that you guys are excited just like I am because this opens up a huge number of possibilities for telling stories, convincing stories. And so here are a number of other things that they've updated. When you get a chance, I'll put this link in the description so you can take a look at it. But it initially it was supposed to be uh, July, but now it's August for August 27th, so towards the end of August. And they are, there's a new feature called actual act, sorry, actor mixer, where you're able to blend your universe of characters. Does it look familiar? Yes, you've seen this inside of the MetaHuman creator, but they have a unique version of them, which means that you can just take a cartoon character you have a realistic head and be able to blend, you know, the different features, the, the nose, ears and everything and even body. So that's actor mixer. That's that's coming to Character Creator 5. And then you're going to be able to have a whole bank of uh, actor mixer core library with scanned heads like 40 plus, mixer sliders, skin textures. So you'll be able to randomize this. There'll be like mixer assets as well, like package. This is huge, <laughs> right? So, and then of course there are promotions going on right now uh, for the pre-launch. And they've improved the adaptable subdivisions and auto texture baking. I think this one we've already seen before in terms of uh, the announcements. But down here, you're going to see new things that they've been adding that are going to be part of the new characters that are in CC5, right? And I think one of the things that you're going to really, really love, and which I think I'm going to love, is the facial animation improvements for the... Uh, full body characters for, for the full body animation and the facial animation but these characters just so you know these have to be native characters that are built inside of character creator 5 however if you have a custom model that you've been able to convert into a rig that is in character creator 5 then you'll be able to take advantage of all these facial animation updates, right? Like uh, like nonlinear facial movement, like some of like the sticky lips, you know? And it also works for stylized characters, cartoon characters. And th that's where I think Character Creator 5 is going to shine because in the Unreal Engine 5.6 and later, we really don't have yet cartoon characters and creatures and things like that. And that's what CC5 is going to offer, which is going to be amazing. And you still be able to send these animations to Autodesk. They've been like added Marmoset uh, support, which is awesome. Blender and of course the Unreal Engine. And that's one of the things that I wanted to point out that uh, here you can see that they've upgraded the CC and IC, like this is uh, iClone auto setup to make sure that all the rigs in the Unreal Engine 5 are supported, right?
So metahumans can, you can swap out metahumans in the sequencer. So you know like how you add a character on your sequencer, a metahuman, and then you add facial animation and you also add the full body animation. Well, you will be able to select character and assign to a CC5 character and that facial animation will seamlessly go on to the CC5 character. And the reason why is because they've made the rig compatible with you know, the control board, the facial control board and the control rig for the body. Uh, or they've re-rigged the CC5 characters to have the same structure. So it's much easier to add those. So metahuman animation, data can be added on there and you can actually see like some examples here so please go ahead i'll put this link in the description of this video again so you can take a look at this there's so many other details in here that i think are gonna be worth for you to read through if you want to do like the itty bitty details of how this is working out so thank you so much guys for joining me today it's an exciting day you know, I know it was supposed to come in July, but uh, to wait until August 27th, I think is totally worth it because there's so many cool things that they are adding in here. So you can actually see like here, this is the UE4 skeleton, UE5 skeleton, this compatibility, and they are supporting UE4, the Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 5, and even UEFN, which means that your characters that you create in, in Character Creator 5, they're going to be like out of the box compatible with UEFN, which means that you're going to be able to create your world, your game levels, and add CC5 characters that have amazing facial animation and full body animation as well. So that is really, really exciting. And they've updated the eyelash system. That will, that's a, so now you can color the eyelashes. You can you know how we used to color the hair? You'll be able to color the eyelashes and the eyeballs have also been improved. And the eye the air kit support for fa face life has also been updated, which means that you can have like much better facial animation for your car cartoon characters and realistic characters inside of uh, CC5. This I have to try it out on my custom characters for the adventures of Nkosa and Nancha to get more convincing facial performance. So we're going to definitely see an updated uh, app that's uh, for like face uh, live face and also motion live. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, definitely this, the actor mixer and also the being able to mix faces <laughs> this is awesome so thank you so much guys for joining me today please uh, spare a minute to subscribe if you haven't already if you've uh, subscribed thank you so much for your support thank you to all my patrons i truly appreciate your support guys and as always dare to dream big may we continue to use these tools to tell our stories to bring our stories to life you know it's and there's some other cool things that i can't talk about just yet you're gonna see these updates coming out but there's some amazing things that are coming to cc5 that are gonna blow your mind i had a meeting with the with the religion team and they walked me through some of these new features and it is amazing guys it's amazing you're gonna truly truly love this so thank you so much stay safe and as always dare to dream big much love to each and every one of you. Bye for now.